Donald Trump's landslide victory in the Iowa caucus last night is essentially a dog bites man story. But for so long over the last few years, particularly the last nine or 10 months, when it became evident that Ron DeSantis was going nowhere. The media was desperate for a story. So we heard, can DeSantis beat Trump? We heard about Nikki Haley and, you know, the new face of the Republican Party and how she was getting momentum. And the two of them combined really didn't even come that close to Trump. He got more than 50% of the vote. And this is about as breaking news as reporting that the sun is hot and that water is wet. This was inevitable. We knew this was going to happen. The important thing here is that the media completely dropped the ball on this because they didn't want to believe the real story. The real story here is that Donald Trump continues to have a vice-like grip on the GOP and that he has transformed a huge proportion of that party into a cult-like following that will support him no matter what. The glimmer of good news here is that Trump will wrap up the nomination for sure in at most the next six weeks, just as his trials begin to kick in. And at that point, the people who are still undecided, the people who are soft Biden supporters, will be reminded just how dangerous Trump is, just all of the things he's done, and how he is essentially the head of a criminal family that wants to bring that back to the White House. So, on to New Hampshire.